Hey, good afternoon, team. Uh, so I just wanted to go over how to use this calendar. If you if you have, find yourself in need of an easy to share, easily editable uh, calendar, this is this is uh, what I intended uh, this calendar for. So when you first get it, of course, you're gonna have this silly picture there, and you're not gonna be able to do anything with it because you're just a viewer. So what you're gonna wanna do is hit File, Make Copy, and name it, you know, so you'll name it with your campus. Let's pretend my campus's name is Desert Vista. So I would just come up here. Let's pretend I can spell. All right. Um, <clears throat> and let's say that uh, the, the, the week of staff development, uh, well, let's go to August, right? We can delete this. Let's say that the first week back from school, you really want the kids to do a spirit week. This is why this calendar is easy um, and, and has some benefits here. I'm going to go ahead and merge these cells. So it's just one, and we're going to call this Spirit Week Welcome Back. And if you want to make it stand out, you can always change the background color. It's just like a spreadsheet, right? So you can um, edit as you will. Let's say that this is going to be Crazy Hair Day. I don't know why you would want to do Crazy Hair Day the first full week back from your school, but let's just say for a hypothetical. Um, and then, you know, you can do whatever, right? You can edit that. Um, you can actually add photos if you wanted to really make it. I know some of us really like to bling things out, but the the real magic happens when you want to share this. So what I want to avoid is uh, I see on Facebook every once in a while somebody literally resorting to having to take a picture of their screen and then uploading that to Facebook or, or sharing it via Remind like that. This is it. You don't have to do that. So you know how to do a screen clipping, right? So I could just clip. A picture now of my um, calendar and it would look like that right or I want to show you another option you could turn even pieces of it into a PDF so if I highlight what I want to share so let's say it's just this first week that I want to share if I go to file sh uh, download PDF now look at that now it's turned it into a PDF but I don't want to share the whole month. I just want to share that spirit week. So up in the upper right hand corner, I'm going to choose selected cells, which means just the cells that I've highlighted. And look at that. Now you have a PDF. You can export it and it'll be in your downloads. So now when I click on it, it's nice and clean. I can now attach it to an email. Um, I could you even get really fancy and create make it into a clip um, like a, a link. Reach out to me if you want um, help doing that. I, I do that all the time. Basically, you just upload it to your website and that becomes a link that you could share. It's super easy to re share Remind via Remind. You want to see how to do that? Why not? Okay, I can see a couple of you raising your hand saying that you want to know how to do that. So in your web page, if you go to Site Administration and we go to the File Cabinet, I'm going to select Document Drawer. Now. I'm going to go to my general show, uh, folder because that's where I want to put this PDF that I just created, right? And just like if I was going to attach it to an email, I'm going to select files, go to my downloads, and it was it delete me, the last one, 339, there it is. I'm going to open it up. And now, see there at the very top, there's a file. If I click it, look at that. So now what that does is it gives me a link that I can share. How do you get the address? You right click. See how I did that? I hovered over it, right clicked, copy link address. And like I've always told you, you should have a notepad always available so that you can, and then now you could re easily say, hey families, let's kick off the year, you know. Yada, 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 pretend I can spell. And then you could send this off in Remind. When they click that, it literally will open up just that downloaded section. I hope this helps. If it doesn't make sense, 
reach out to me. I'd be happy to walk you through it. Welcome back. I mean, not welcome back. I'm thinking of the beginning of the year. Uh, I hope you have a great summer break is what I meant to say.